Hey Magic fans and welcome to the Let's Talk Magic podcast game day preview. Um, first of all, sorry that these haven't been being done. Real life has took over and been hugely busy with work, but we are back now. So here we go. Tonight we are talking about game day number 64 for the Orlando Magic. It is a huge game in New York as the Magic take on the... Eastern Conference number five seed, the New York Knicks. The Magic being the number four seed. Uh, venue, Madison Square Gardens in New York. Tip time is 12.30 a.m. Uh, in the UK, which is 7.30 p.m. in both Orlando and New York. To watch here live or in, on demand, you are going to need an active NBA League Pass subscription. Talk about the Magic first. Regular season record of 37 and 26. We have won our last five games, which is the longest active win streak in the NBA at this moment in time. And we are eight and two in the last 10 played. Our road record is 16 and eight, getting very close to the 500 mark on the road. We stand, as I say, fourth in the East with 111 points Point. I'll start again. We are scoring 111.4 points per game, conceding 109.5. We rate 23rd on offence and 4th on defence. So let's look at where the Magic are at. The, uh, the Magic are coming off a hard fought back-to-back uh, on the road in both Detroit and Washington. Both wins were against sub-500 teams who were working hard in each and every game. Neither win for the Magic was pretty. Both required the Magic to make adjustments and refocus on playing, getting back to their brand of basketball. Um, most recently against the Washington Wizards on Wednesday night, 6th of March, that required the Magic to come from 21 points behind in the first half, taking what has been our biggest comeback win of the season, winning by 119 to 109. Against the Wizards, the Magic built from a, def a defensive standpoint in the second half. We guarded our opponents with energy and determination. Being focused on defence, it actually saw our offence get into some sort of rhythm. Ultimately, the Magic shot 53.7% from the field. It was their fifth straight game of shooting over 50% or above. Um, they knocked down 44.4% uh, of the three-point shots taken, Jalen Suggs made five of those. Against Washington, Franz Wagner, he produced a bounce-back performance, totaled 28 points. Paolo Banquero, he stuffed the box score, uh, knocking in 25 points, six rebounds, 10 assists. Mo Wagner, he scored 14 of his 16 points in that final quarter. Jalen Suggs had 19, Cole Anthony had 11, and that rounded out the double-digit scoring for the Magic. Um, so, on to... That game, the starting unit was Anthony Black, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Paolo Banquero and Gogo Bittadze. From the bench, we saw Markel Fultz, Cole Anthony, Joe Ingles, Caleb Houston and Mo Wagner. Um, both Chumro KK and Admiral Schofield were unused. Jonathan Isaac, Gary Harris, Wendell Carter Jr. were out injured. Jet Howard on G League assignment, Kevon Harris and Trevlin Queen were inactive also. Uh, so for tonight, the Magic... Only Wendell Carter Jr. is listed as questionable with knee soreness and that's what saw him miss the Washington game. He went through shoot around today and is described as a game time decision. Jet Howard again on G League assignment with the Osceola Magic. Kevon Harris, he's listed out G, as being G League two way. Uh, if Wendell is good to go, he's likely to step back into the starting unit ahead of Goga and I would expect Gary Harris to return to that starting five to join Jalen, Franz and Paolo. Talk about the Knicks now, 36 and 26 this season, their record. They lost their last game and are having a few struggles, three and seven in the last 10 played. That doesn't mean they are not still a dangerous team. They stand fifth in the East. They are scoring 113.2 points per game, conceding 109.8. That ranks them at both at 11th for both offensive and defensive ratings. At home, the Knicks have a 20 and 12 record. The Knicks are among the uh, sorry are the second in offensive rebounds in this league which sees them scoring a lot of second chance points to score a good number. Though they don't excel in many offensive categories, the Knicks are effective at turning the opportunities that they get into points. Uh, defensively, the Knicks keep the fouls low. They restrict free throw opportunities. They are effective at defending the paint 
Um, opponent second chance points are the second fewest in the NBA and opponent points from turnovers is the fourth fewest. These are areas that the Magic have to be better in than the Knicks defence because they are areas that the Magic play well in. Uh, we're looking at uh, the Knicks, they are led by two All-Stars, Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. Unfortunately for them, one is unavailable and the other is questionable. Uh, Brunson, he is averaging 27.2 points per game, shooting almost 48% and making 6.6 .6 assists. The Knicks were, as we, as we know, are active at the trade deadline. Picking up Alec Burks, Bo, uh, Bojan Bogdanovic. They'd already acquired OG Ananobi, Ananobi. I put my teeth in, I'm having trouble tonight. From Toronto on December the 30th. Of late, you cannot overlook Dante DiVincenzo. He's stepped up mightily since this injury crisis has hit the Knicks. Uh, in his last five games, he's averaging 21.8 points, 3.6 assists and 2 steals. Last time out for the Knicks... A 116-108 home defeat to the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, the Knicks never led in this game, trailing by as many as 22 in the second quarter, but they came all the way back to tie the game with a minute left in the third period. But Atlanta were able to regain control kept, and they kept the Knicks at arm's length for the rest of the way. Interesting, the Knicks used only eight players in the game, being led by Dante DiVincenzo with 21 points. Miles McBride, he pitched in with nine assists to go along with 11 points. Bojan Bogdanovic, he led the bench with 19 points. Their starting five for that game was Dante DiVincenzo, Miles McBride, Josh Hart, Isaiah Hartenstein and Precious Achua. From the bench, it was Bojan Bogdanovic, Alec Burks and Jericho Sims. As to tonight, Jalen Brunson is questionable. As I said, he has a knee injury and that saw him miss the defeat against Atlanta. OJ Anobi, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson have all experienced extended absences now for the team. So tonight, expect Coach Thibodeau to go again with that same starting five if Brunson is not past fist. fit. Head-to-head uh, -head with the Knicks, uh, 129 games played. Uh, in the regular season, and the score stands 127-122 to the Magic. It's the final meeting of the season, this one, uh, between the two teams. Game day 31, the Magic were gritty, um, took a home win 108-117. Franz and Paolo both had big performances, uh, and Jalen Suggs was his very best on both ends of the floor. Ran Julius Randle, he had 38 points. He was the Knicks leader for that one. Uh, and Brunson, he worked hard but was well defended. The Magic defence was immaculate on long stretches on game day 40. A 98-94 road win for the Magic. Total team performance, again, grit and determination. And then on... February the 14th, with the latest meeting, game day 55, it saw the Magic take a home court win, 100 to 118. Heavily undermanned Knicks, we've got to be fair to them. Um, led by 12 points early in that second quarter. However, the Magic, who also had absences themselves, rallied. We outscored the Knicks by 19 in that second quarter, going on to win both the third, sorry, the third and fourth quarters also. Paolo Banquero put up 36 points in that game without taking a free throw. Franz Wagner had 21 points. We now have a four game winning streak over the Knicks, and, but last season the Knicks took it 2-1 in uh, the series. Each team regularly takes victories against the other, both on the road and at home. Across the past four seasons, the six games that have been played in New York, each team has three wins. See how close this one could be. So final thought, as always, when we play the Knicks, it will be a physical game. It probably won't be a pretty game and both teams will fight hard. If this game comes down to being another tight one, statistic to look at is the Magic leading going into the final quarter. When we've held the lead um, at that point of the game, this season, the the hold a 31-1 and record for victories. So let's hope we enter that final quarter with the lead. On 17 occasions this season, the Magic have held opponents to under 100 points, winning 16 of those games. And finally, why is this so big? For Orlando, that W would put a second win between them and the Knicks, who have played a game less than us. From a Knicks perspective, they need that win to draw level with us. And remember, we own the season tiebreaker over them already. 
Eastern Conference playoff, it remains tight, it remains exciting. Only three wins separate Cleveland in third from the Magic, though again, the Cavs have played a game fewer than Orlando. So, if you enjoyed this preview, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it, make comments, we appreciate anything that you do to help us along. But, more importantly, let's go Magic, let's get that W. This is a massive one tonight. Let's go.